All right. Okay. Uh, the thing is. Welcome in. We're going to look at Shane Boz today, who got lit up in his first start of the season. That was simmed. He only lasted two thirds of an inning. Go back and forth. Right there, actually. It's the Diamondbacks who are surprisingly. Yeah, two thirds of an inning gave up five runs, a walk, and a strikeout. Not last worth a diddle. Really in that uh, in that game, so hopes to get back on track. Unfortunately, I do it against the Astros. After which, we'll probably um. We sim a couple games, and then the next game I'll probably broadcast be again. The Cardinals. So you take a look at Haskar Yanoa. And then we'll probably do a show. Hop into the back on track. We are low five. Right then. Kidding. We're not going to have. Pause, start, right. We're then I'll tell you what. Still hurt. Oh crap, I should have backed out. Yeah, okay, he's still hurt. Okay, so change of plans. You either play this one or we can go on to the Cardinals. Uh which I may just go ahead and do the Cardinals. We will sim to last game here. See how horrible the... Oh good, our shortstop, Will Wilson, is a head contusion be out two, well, two weeks. So that's Go ahead and line ups. All right. We do lose that game. I don't know why it said Boz. Oh, cool. The game started. We did not do very well. There's nine. Go four and a third. Still get lit up for six runs. I have to keep an eye on Boz. Progression. He's not had a good start. Still not. But we did sweep, well, we took the first three games against the Cardinals when did the damage. Looks like Otani did the damage. He gets a home run. He didn't play catcher. The game put him at second base. Torres hit. Well, Wilson got a hit by pitch. I bet that hurt. Cardinals. So Otani gets the win. 13 strikeouts over eight innings. Great game for him. Lopez, we, second game, seven to four. Spreading the love everywhere. Will, Will Wilson had two RBI. Ever later, field. Cool. Lopez went six strong innings. He did give up four runs, but not off the start. At least this. Here, Merrifield had two runs. Otani playing right field, of course. Game's got to stop doing that. Good right field. Then another stolen. Corey gets his third win of the season already. 3-0. and He is killing it. Five innings, six hits, two runs, a walk, and six strikeouts. Rookie is looking good. And he starts. So we have a chance to sweep today. Look at Huskar Yadoa. About this, fair trade. Um, we don't really need another short stop. Have, I think we have, we have Mark Piano, he'll get more playing time. We could call up anybody really to roster.
Call it the third catcher. But that's not. Call it Mark. Ow, I'll figure that out. Let's just hop into this game. Bush Stadium. You're a fan. I say, uh, do Livertor on the map. Lefty is on. We go on. Later needs to. We give Del VR a shot again. Airfield's good. I will slide Grimsky over to the left. We're going to get Del VR off. Put in. Oh, actually, I'm Bond's going to be starting. Whereas Devers first Nano should put in or shit. I already got two homers now. RBI is okay. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna get that arm. Witty will play first today. As we'll see. second, third, and somebody else looks solid. Let's hop into this and see what Haskar Yanoa got to offer. Off to a good start, like a lot of our picks. Good Saturday to everyone, by the way. To the mighty Mississippi, we're at the home of the Cardinals, Bush Stadium in for the St. Louis. Sweet. Today, it's the finale of this four game set between the San Francisco Giants and the St. Louis Cardinals. Alongside Mark DeRose and Dan Plezak, and guys, the Giants come into the day with the up, opportunity Pep? to sweep this four game series after having claimed the first three. No How you doing, man? Will be absolutely focused. You want to steal a sweep from your rivals any chance you can. And I got to be honest, this is probably bigger for the fans than the players playing in this one. Huge bragging rights at stake. Matthew Liberatore, the lefty. Matthew Liberatore getting the start for the Cardinals tonight. 0 and 2, close to a 10 ERA. Not great. Great. Sure, he'll be dominant. <laughs> Keeps getting better. He keeps learning, and if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Now, with the plate is Whit Merrifield. He will lead this one off today. The afternoon for San Francisco. Okay. Hey, you're walking home from work. You not cold? First offering. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the right. Cardinals ball club as they enter play this afternoon. Can't they complain. Are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six Good straight side, coming in. First pitch, one fifteen. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. Hey, if he's gonna execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day. If he's gonna execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's gonna be a big pitch for him today. Strike out. Good start. A little warmer today. <laughs> Was it like 40? Ooh, that's a 71 today. Nice. Warm and rainy this morning. So didn't even need a jacket. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. 
forecast high calls for 80 time. degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening. Grimsey coming off a year where he hit 334 or something like that. He won. It's better when I don't use it. Through that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And he takes strike three call. And it's a pair of punch outs that begins the ball game. Really surprised. I think Livitor's actually got. That's got a pretty good. I, I should do. Breakouts. Giving up 10 runs in. It's 11. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it to the teeth of the lineup. Oh, without warm. A whole lot of stress. Looking to at least put the ball in oh, play in this inning. 11 degrees. Fouled away. <laughs> How was your day at work, man? Wow. Strike two swinging. Now you can tell right there that curveball had some so strike out the side. To it. That's what What's up, Frog? The good ones from the bad ones. That Saturday too. Spin rate, get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. Lays off two and two now. Ah. Uh. Into the corner and slicing the foul. Two, two. Yep. And struck out to say it, huh? Interesting. Game is great. Hey, appreciate those, man. Take it to 40. You're a madman. Oscar Yenawa, you know native of the Dominican Hola. Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, his last start wasn't a particularly <laughs> good one, and he was rattled around a little bit. Couldn't get him off waivers of the inning. Braves last year. Did really good uh, than he took second half of the season. I think he won so 10 games. He kept him on the team for this year. Oh, Lord, is this the broadcast angle? Oh, that is. Okay. Here's the pitch. Nope. Fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Danny D. Rowe, this Having giant someone team as they Good begin Lord. play here this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, it's not an Be easy safe, thing man. to do to get a sweep on the road. And hey, Dero, a four-game sweep on a roadie, that's doubly tough to do. Dan, that might happen once in play. You could have made to come into someone else's play. house and to steal four straight games. Yeah. Can you imagine what that plane flight's going to be like if they steal this one? Now a moment here Cardinals have Cattell, Marte, Chris Taylor, and Matt Olson. They still got Nolan Arenado. Picked up Zach Collins, former White Sox catcher. Oh, that's a lineup right there. That's a crazy lineup. Chris Taylor. Well, swing of the first pitch. Three pitches, two outs. I'll take that. I'm not good at striking people out. The box is Cattell Marte looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. This Cattell Marte. He's set and the pitch. Ironically, he leaves the Diamondbacks and the Diamondbacks now. Ooh, time and a half, yeah. 
I work Christmas Eve. I, I don't work Christmas Day. Two balls and no strikes to the Cardinals center fielder. I work uh, New Year's Eve and day too. In the game that are gonna I feel bad. First strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Where that call was. Side three and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Hey, look at that game through it in the plate. Away. That's new skipper, Buck Walter. Uh, the three one. I don't know. Back up the Maybe he's someone the Mets need. Success with two out and the bottom of the I'm, I'm not really a big Buck Walter fan. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. But I mean, there's two outs, but they obviously the Mets saw something in him, so they think that's the right choice, then uh yeah he does, right? And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend Yeah, no, I don't do anything. We let Leo stay up and watch the ball drop. Yeah, buddy. First offering on its way. Even Walmart's are closed on Christmas. It's crazy to see an empty Walmart parking lot. Come on, you know, if I'm the zone, man. The one oh. Hmm. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Yeah, I get paid extra on New Year's Day, not New Year. Oh, come on. You got to be quicker. Got to be quicker with that tag, man. He missed the tag anyway. Bringing in Beltron. I've seen that. Here's the two and two. Hit softly down the line at first. I've seen that though. Um a lot of older style managers in the NL East, you know, with Joe Girardi for the Phillies and now Buck Showalter for the Mets and um, what's his name for the Marlins? Good Lord. Looks like Brian Snitker is the youngest. My baby strikes out Olsen. To work around it. Your kids on your nerves. Yeah, I do too. He complains about everything that doesn't go his way. He harpers it. All right, let's not strike out the side this time. Make some contact. I'm amazed at how much I cannot hit in this game. Still. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's one and oh. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. You might start to call these guys the road warriors. It's hard to win on the road, and with a win today, ah, Fillmore behind the plate. My second least favorite umpire. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D roll Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect. Oh, that's going to be hit hard. He dives. He but that is hot. What a play there for the first down. Good I was surprised. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but. Is that Taylor? That's got to be Taylor, right? Oh, he's at second. Dylan Carlson in right. 
play. Up there too long, just unlucky that time. First pitch coming, here it is. Franklin Lamore comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. I was going to the playoffs now they got Strowman. Eh. Eh. I need a, I need a big time bomber. Here it comes. I like Strowman. I'm glad they got Strowman. He seems pretty excited. No score here. Based on his tweets. Ball's hit hard, but it's not going to get out of here. Why would it? Hanging slider. Been seeing, like, small rumors that the Cubs are wanting to bring Chris Bryant back. Next, here is Raul Batista. Comes in with a six-game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling. How's it bringing Correa? I know. I hate it. I don't like Correa. I just, I just don't like. It. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That hook stayed up in the Rather zone. get Trevor's story. <laughs> that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Let's see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Good Lord, game really. We can't hit the ball in the first inning, and then we hit the ball hard all three times this inning. All right. No Got to have a happy medium the next time. It's the Mets. Kid. I wonder who's going to get Bryant. Because he's not going to go back to the Giants. Is. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. And he's been tearing the cover off the ball these past Did anyone days. predict Baez going to the Tigers? <laughs> I didn't. So they have the money. You're New York. First pitch on its way. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. There's the ass and left. Got it. Play for the first down. Guys got Max Scherzer. Okay, here's how you guys are stacked, man. Up and guys, let's take a look at Raphael Devers. He got rushed to the big league super quick because the guy could flat. I like what the Mets are doing because they're putting pressure on the other teams to do something. We know the Marlins aren't going to do much. Into the box now, Dylan Carlson. Mets need, or the Braves need to resign Freeman. The Phillies, geez, I don't even know what the Phillies. Really don't. Nationals. Nationals just seem like they're in limbo. Tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Looks like it's going to be a Mets Braves division this year. Unless someone makes a big move. The next to bat for St. Louis, Zach Collins. He's gone over his first six at bats in the series so far. Now here's the pitch. It landed both Gosman and Mad Max. Which one would you have preferred? Like, if if you had, I mean, obviously you got Scherzer. But would you prefer Scherzer or Gosman? That's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the I worry he's going to regress this season. Got him swinging and um, that's the third out. You know, a better inning. Strikes out Collins. It's 0 for 7 for Collins. Third with no score. Yeah, the Grom is just a goat. 
stepping up to the plate, Mauricio Dubon. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off to third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to oh, get this. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Video needs some. Be right back as soon as I can. En enjoy this, I guess. Be back. Alrighty. Alright, sorry about that. Pop back into this. Oh, this looks cringy. I gotta hear this. Here if you do. Actually, hold on.
All right, that's funny. I just had to listen. All right. We're hopping back in. DeGrom, Mad Max, Walker, Brasco, Chessie, Yamamoto. All those cool guys. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's a good rotation. Um, I wonder who the proper um, four or five guys will be. You think it would be Carrasco and maybe Yamamoto? They seriously bring Adam Cole into this? Are you kidding? <laughs> Streamed it the wrong day, man. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Great. All right. And now a pitch on the way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. My goodness. Yeah, no, the Mets look good. They look good every year. Get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's yeah, I told you guys what would happen at the beginning of the game. This guy's allowed more runs than innings pitch, and what does he do against me? Has a loud run yet. Because we just can't hit all of a sudden. What else is new? Four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. Here is Marco Luciano. Expand their zone of protect, and when they're in that mode, He's going to hop at the first pitch. It's right center field. That is going to get down. Ground roll double. That will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. They're hanging a lot of those pitches up. Hey, he started the offensive production with a bang right there. That's the first hit of the game, and it's a good one. Driving that ball to and over the wall for a ground rule double. And he's basically able to stroll into second base. Into the box, Oscar Yinawa. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. <laughs> I think we're cursed. Gotta make the playoffs, right? So who's gonna fill in for Baez now that he's not gonna... trying to work around the pitcher sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat that info swung on and that was gonna fly out left center Reynolds will range to his left as he knew there. this one down in left center for the second out of I the totally forgot about Robinson Cano. They just let him go. Just put McNeil there. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Stepping forward, Whit Merrifield struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Gotta find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. I don't know who any of these people are. Anyway. All right, two out. With it. From the stretch. There's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit Escobar. more aggressive. This guy's powerful. Mets are so loaded, one man. One ball and one strike to the Giants' first baseman. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought they were going to put a running in. The set and the I thought they were going to put a running in for Chris Taylor. I don't blame him for not coming He'd over. He'd be really good in the Mets. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. 
The heck? What kind of entrance is this? WWE or what? Oh, there's the Halo Championship. Look at WWE going on. Alright, who is it? I don't know who that is. Oh my god, Ogre! <laughs> oh. Oh. That's old style. Ogre 1 or 2, I can't. Ogre 2. Oh, Lord. Shit just got real. Two and two. Oh, don't swing at that. Swing at jump. Good Lord. Hooker two would stay with Walshy. I know I'm just talking a bunch of random nonsense. The uh, Halo Championship. Team that I'm probably going to invest money into in the futures in this tournament. Chris Puckett. <laughs> Team Vandal. Ball two. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Should be, man. I'm way past my prime. Now the 2 0. Line drive, and that's a big Noah big either big leaves big it down the middle or he misses the zone completely. Nice AB right there with the pitcher coming to the plate. Your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Look at that perfect timing. Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. I have one video on uh, the YouTube page of Halo Reach where me and people I used to play with, we had a guy quit on us, so it was three versus four. We actually won that game. In a way, that was probably one of my uh, one of my best games. And they're gonna say that he went after it. A strange strike too. And they do have him scoring with two strikes. Of course, it's a perfect bind every time, man. But I really hope STS doesn't. They're not lazy next year. Hey, you can watch it. It's an old video. It's Halo Reach days. That's at least three games ago now that Infinite's out. Got Adam Cole on his team. That's so fun. Got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Gotta believe I can't remember when I put that video even up. Count the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Working for the punch out and the There's everything down the middle. Everything hung with two strikes. I thought they got rid of that problem. Going to third, and he's going to get third. Boy, this game's trying everything. Well, he has nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home to score. Sells it blocking pitches in the dirt. That's a big O for two today. Uh, okay. 92 blocking. Two wild pitches, huh? All sorts of ways. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when there are runners on base. 
And he fouls this one off. We say MLB the rig the show. Very late, not even close to it. Should have been a strikeout. Another one two delivery. Should have been strike three. Not gonna happen. Next pitch I'm gonna throw is probably gonna hang. How do you block that one? You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you gotta find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Now the three and two pitch. Perfect at bat by the AI. So that will at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. All right, runners on the corners, one out. Let's see Chris Taylor hit his three-run homer. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Xmas light show road tour over for 2021. Now at shopping center waiting for wife to pick up. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh yeah, Ron Reynolds, Chris Taylor, Matt Olson. Freaking Genoa can't find the zone ever. Umpire not calling pitches in the fucking zone. <laughs> Fourth pitch that's been in the zone that he hasn't called. Hey, thanks. Great one. Ooh. Chinese food? Three and one with two on, and this is where you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove it. Golden boy. Uh, Adam Cole, Chris Puckett, and I don't know who that other is. I forgot who that was. Hi, Amish. Now the slider gets Be careful. In the bottom part of the zone. Not much you're gonna do with that pitch, right? What's your favorite type of Chinese you food, Ed? Out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Oh my God, Puckett has USA shades. <laughs> I love those. Those are awesome. I can't even wear sunglasses and I want to wear those. <laughs> yep. Right on cue. Cardinals lead one to nothing off of MLB rigged the show. Pitcher should have never been able to get that bunt down. But the game, you don't care. Hopefully the pitcher's able to breathe a sigh of relief, Dan, like you say all the time. Give me some early runs and let me relax and attack the zone. I've always said to you, you score me six runs. Here's Cattell Marte. Standing in now, Cattell Marte. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And their runners at the corners now. Be nice to just get hits whenever you want. Getting, we're getting hanging sliders, hanging curveballs fouled away. They're hitting stuff literally out of the zone. <laughs> what kind of crap is that? Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. We worked hard, man. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Torres picks it up. Wow, what a play! I don't know, Torres. Nice double play. But the Cardinals get a run off of some rigging. They lead one nothing. All 
Time for us to continue to face a pitcher that's now, I don't know, Max Scherzer or something. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. That's over. Oh, main general says, yeah, that's his favorite sweet and sour. That ball hit hard left field, and not gonna grab that one. Stremski going for three. Got it. Hi, Kistramski. For the triple. You lay out for a ball like that. You make the play and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Nice attempt, though. I thought he was actually going to catch. Really good. All right, so there's Glaber Torres. Next up will be Glaber Torres. Bring him home, man. Ooh, egg rolls? Yeah. Leo tried egg rolls for the first time last month. He loves them. He doesn't like Chinese food, but he loves egg rolls. I'm sorry, what's your contact versus lefties? 71? Bye, Frog. Have a good one, man. Right, we're not gonna be able to hit anything, are we? See how the game's gonna rig here. He's set and the one two pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Yep. Of course we can't make contact. A pitcher can bunt outside the zone, but we can't make contact with the ball in the corner with a 71 contact hitter. Okay. Okay. There we go. At least we got him in. Doesn't like egg rolls. That's they're going to be the next Twitter poll. Do you like egg rolls? It's <laughs> the girl on Wall Street. I don't know who that is. At the play, Franklin Labor. As the first pitch misses to him. Yes, there's Labor. Flew out and is only at bat so far. Could have put Slater in today, but let Labor have a shot. Nice play by Arenado. <laughs> Maybe I just don't like egg roll. <laughs> I have to ask him if he comes back. If he makes it back before. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. Yes, they get only scored one run. Scar finding the zone a little more. They've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Here it is, Matt Olson. I think the Cardinals signed him to a... Yeah, look at that. 31 years old. Five-year deal. A lot of money, man. Backloaded it, too. Two, three. When he's 35, he's going to be... On the way. 
This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Easy. Slur. Okay. Fortunately, Bargar is not available. And that was just all over the place, man. He is not finding the zone at all. Not uh, executing. Here's Nolan Arenado. Here's Nolan Arenado. As the first pitch to him is in there for a See if Huskar can go. Hey, it's not always Five innings. About filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. I'm set with the 0 1. Cardinals team just don't chase. There, but it runs not a good matchup. Not a good matchup. Scar, you know. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. Nice Four. double play. Three, and they turn the double play. Like that. So the next to bat will be Dylan Carson. Yeah, the going into this game. Diamondbacks are actually leading the West right now. First delivery to him. Six and three. And the Padres are right behind them. They just lost the Dodgers. Dodgers are in third. We're in fourth. Rockies are fifth. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Good change up there as he takes command. 0 and 2. I get one K. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. I'd love to. I think we have two strikeouts. That's a shocker. Yeah, especially since like the last two seasons, the Diamondbacks have finished dead last. I actually traded Zach Gallon away, or either he either got traded away or he signed with a different team himself, but he's no longer with the Diamondback. He's with the Astros now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Change up. That struck out Carlson last time. Well, just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Like every pitch, a shake away. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Seems like all the pitchers have had a hard time putting people away. The two, two, one more time. I thought about re-signing Chris Archer because he did phenomenal last year for me. Thirteen and six. Taking on the team in strikeouts. I was just, I, I'm scared of his regression if I didn't read sign him. The penguin trash can. What's up, Flesh? Appreciate the follow. How you doing? Come on, man. Be happy if you go five innings. And it's fouled away. Everything here. Call me Dom. Alright. I'll call you Dom. That's cool. <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. Another try at two, two. Got it, baby. Finally, we got him. 
Horrible for many reasons. <laughs> hey, man. Every name has a story. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to <laughs> I like it. Thanks, Matt. I like between it. innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the You got a favorite baseball team or favorite baseball team in general? San Francisco lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty Play in the plate in this one. He's great your own team. Yep. has been the main reason for their struggles today as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitch into firm strikes. Alright, see if we can get her to get the ace known as Matthew Libertor. Mr. Close to nothing, man. And now the first pitch. Such a good curveball. I cannot pick that up. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is gonna win this one. No friends, sucked it right. Look at rank. I don't even play. I don't even play this game online. So your rank's better than mine. <laughs> the wind up and the 01. And that misses one and one. Mariners fan. Has had a good run last year. I was I was really rooting for y'all to make the playoffs, man. I was. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got. I was really rooting for y'all. Yeah, you're welcome in here anytime, Dom. Here's another one too. I'm not I'm not I don't stream as much as I used to. But I've been popping in now every in and out on occasion. But do I do? I work for a chip company. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I gotta believe it's an for a chip just gotta throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Of course we can. I swear to God, with two strikes, your contact gets cut in half in this game. I swear to God, it does. The guy that's given up more runs than innings pitch going into this game. <laughs> now dominant. Game connected with your friend, you're the goalie. Maybe the show will do that in the future. We could have one guy as a pitcher and the other guy, anyone in the, you know, anyone on the field, whether they be catcher or outfield or whatever. That'd be pretty sweet. Next to hit, Marco Luciano. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to save it. What do you do for a the job, Dom? Or do I need to ask? Swing and misses. He pulls the top hand over. It's over Not. Two. Man, this guy's really I'll play this game so anymore. Far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Two. Wow, I'm surprised we made contact. Of course, we do nothing in this inning. Too stubborn to lower the difficult. Not going to lower the difficult. Got to hope the game decides to work. <laughs> All right, let's see if he can get through the 7 8 nine. Here's the pitch. Lined hard to center field. Got there. Yeah. Dubon has it and there's one gone. 
jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. It's so funny to see Adam Cole playing. I just cannot. Tyro Estrada digging in now. Oh, 97. It's just, you know, his location is so rough. May have to look into him. I don't know. I like his potential so much. It's location issues. He's got a. Ow. There's a team like the Cardinals that don't really chase a lot of pitches out of the zone. Like I said before, not really a good matchup. Is Dom from Gears of War? Yeah, there is a character in Gears of War named Dom. He dies. Uh... It's a really good series. If you've never played through the Gears of War games, I highly recommend it. It's, like, I enjoyed it. I really did. They kind of get a little lame as you go on through the series, but the first two or three are really good. I like it. Swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Up oh, five to nothing. Three, two pitch. I guess you guys are playing on the hardest difficulty. He's got Devers there. In time yeah. first and there are two away. The pitcher, number 52. Adam left. Did I offend him? I didn't mean to. Stepping in for the Cardinals. I like meeting new people and then they just leave. But... How am I supposed to meet me? First offering on its way. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Superstar. Two out, nobody on. <laughs> now here it comes. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big swings. <laughs> He's trying to help himself. Set to deliver on nothing in two. For you, my life, I take her home. I don't care. Anybody said. Away. Ah, the excellent pitching or the excellent hitting of Matthew Levitor. Bases are empty here with yeah, the pitcher, it's very late. Just missed that. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. I'm oh, sorry, is this the pitcher? Well, he's not gonna get this one. It's into the gap. Oh, look at the pitcher getting a double because the show. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was gonna be one of those. It really wants the Cardinals to win this game. Must be nice to get hits whenever freak you want, man. God, I hate how this bigs. I really. I might as well just walk Levator next time I ever face him. He gets a bunt on a ball outside the zone his first at bat, and then he hits a double in his second at bat. Here's the 1 0. They just need to throw out the stats in this game. Like, the stats don't matter in this game. They really don't. Stats do not matter in MLB The Show. I will die on that hill.
Alright, let's go make it for Huskar Yanoa. He's the Grom. Matthew DeGrom. A riveting game this is. One to one. <laughs> riveting. Alright, let's bring in uh, Slater. Austin Slater will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Didn't use him a lot for me. Now the first pitch. Yes, he'll look at a fastball too high. Facing me though, everyone is the ground. Let's be honest. Going off to a bit of a slow start this year. Who do we want? Do we want to have Thompson? He has a lot more power. Wilson. Actually, I'd probably take that risk. I may actually. Actually, bring in. Uh, now the 1 0. 1 7 to 2. Some action out in the bullpen. I'm Hellsley. Right Louis Cavanaugh. Louis Cavanaugh. Or what do you want to put? Louis. Now the two oh. Sound like Stewie. Louis. And oh now. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Reno to Mr. Slater. Here old. Here it is on three and oh. Last year of his contract. Okay, that I swung at that. I'm sure the game would have called that a strike. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed. Baby Slater. Usually blows nine out of ten. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. Well, after being laid on a fastball, there it looked like. That's about 12-6 again. He's got a really good 12-6. I'll give him that. Really good. He blew the fastball right by him, sped up his bat with the off speed, and got hurt. With Merrifield next to bat. Who's with it? Look at ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. No, you were a Stewie fan. He's out very lightly. <laughs> the one oh. I'm square, man. I don't really like a lot of shit. I don't really like Family Guy or. Pretty boring. I don't lie. It all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Now the 2-0. Yeah. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. Mm. And here's a ball hit in the air. light on that one. This will wind up being a foul ball. Slater gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. Due to wit. Uh, two, two, one more time. Hey, three foul balls I'm always right more of a South Park guy. The, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Like I've never really seen a lot of South Park episodes. The only one that I enjoy watching is the is an old South Park episode where they made fun of World of Warcraft. I actually, do. So. Yeah. Do a hit and run here. Risk it. Things you want to do with a starter. Get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat. Is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes? Well, payoff pitch on its way, and there it goes. Yeah, ball four too. Good swing on a tough. I got scrub. Stick around to see another one. He'll try it again. Three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Slow. One run on three hits and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Try it again. My baby. All right, two on, nobody out. Contend with a throw is that miss 
passes for ball four. There is Yastrzemski now. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. Fractured. No, I haven't played any of the South Park games, even though I like those kind of RPGs. So now to the plate. I really like turn basing. Tripled and scored in his last at bat, and we'll see what he does for a follow up act here. First pitch on its way. Pull toward right. It's a hard. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch and the Later's gonna try to get the third. He and he'll get into third Huge. here on the fly out, so he's ninety feet away here with one. I can't believe Yastrzemski doesn't crush that ball more. That was right in his wheelhouse. On the fly out. Now he's only ninety feet away with one out. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Here's Torres looking for his first hit. Have I run at third. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing. Really, really struggled today. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by though as a hitter. Ready with the one-o -oh pitch. Ah. Swing and a miss for strike one. Open him out. What you guys got going on tomorrow? Early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and, and put himself in a good hitter's count. Now the two-one pitch. Of course, foul it off. What else is there? Merrifield on first, Slater on third. Runners are at first and third, one away. And Torres strikes out. We're not like the AI and can make contact outside that box, so that surprised me. But here's Devers now. Well. He's telling him to come in and take over while you eat. Fastball down one too much there. That's ball one. Runners on first and third, two away. Devers is going to run out. What else is there? <sighs> Game is rigged, 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 rigged. I want to come out with a shirt that says rigged on it. If I buy that? I'll buy that. <laughs> uh, all right, who do we want here? I'm actually going to go with Thompson. Zach Thompson. Here is Zach Thompson to face his former team. We got him in a trade with the Cardinals. Probably the first year of the franchise, actually. We traded um, Homer Flores. Now it'll be Chris Taylor. Single homer run in his last time up. The second baseman, Chris Taylor. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. I'm going to make that shirt. I'm going to make that shirt. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put new merchandise on the store and reopen the store. The one, one home. Good one. Let me guess, I have another pitcher. I can't find the zone. What's his name? Do I miss the Tigers? No. <laughs> I don't. I, th I honestly thought I was going to have more fun with that series, but I... Liner towards second, but an I miss Jacoby Jones. I <laughs> miss old JCJ. Next to hit is 
Martel Marte. He's working on a one for two game so far. First pitch of the AB now. Of course. Back up the middle. It'd be nice to get hits whenever you want. I think there's any job over. <laughs> we're trying to make it to where Vanessa works from home. She said she wouldn't mind making merch. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Alright, speaking of rigging, here we go. Here we go. comes the 1 0. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. <laughs> Nice job letting that bounce. Nice double play. We will take that. Luciano Torres with a bare hand. Cardinals going to the pin. Ryan Helsley. Guy that hates the Braves. Oh, not mine. I told Vanessa, I was like, that's great, but like... I just don't, I don't stream much anymore. I don't really have a following. No one's going to want it. So she came up with another idea of like, you know, maybe just sending out gift boxes to people that have been loyal after all these years. I did that with Gabe. Same. Uh, it's probably been a year and a half now. I think you should get one. For sure. Now a fastball for a cold strike. It's one and one. Right. As the show is rigged. Who wants the Cardinals to win? One and two. Good timing in the zone, huh? Okay. Oh, fuck. He's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there. SDS is probably the worst game mate. How many companies do you know that make a game and they can't? We're gonna swing and mess at everything. Not the game. Why can we not hit, guys? In the freaking box. God, this game is so rigged sometimes. I swear to God it breaks on purpose. I really do. You guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination. And I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Swear to God, with two strikes, your contact rating gets cut in it. Didn't have to switch to a PCI to have good hitting. Like I just shouldn't have to. Again, a one-two. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. So two away now in the San Francisco seven. And stepping up now will be Mauricio Dubon. I look late again. I mean, what does the game want from me? It either says I'm very early or late. Just fucking choose one. They look late again. What the fuck? <laughs> it's just... The game is so rigged. Holy crap is this thing rigged. SDS, fix your game, man. Do better next year. I mean, you won't because you're lazy bums, but do better next year.
list, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. First offering. It's nice to see people jumping on board to uh, make franchise better next year. And I'm glad people... Fuck you. God damn. Anyway. And I'm glad people are on board with it. But dear God, I've been saying this for years. But no one cares. You know, no one... Oh God, Daddy D me saying something. Maybe he's got a point. Like no one else has talked about franchise. Spears, maybe? On the ground a second for Torres. But regardless, I'm glad people are on board for it. SDS won't do it because they suck. They're too, wor they're too busy worrying about you getting like your third different version of Bryce Harper. <laughs> or their stupid lame-o tournaments that they can't even run. Freeze-offs and crashes in your tournament? Yikes, man. Pitch. Here it comes. You're such a bad company, you can't even run your own tournaments. One and one to count. I know. Faces are empty, one man out. I can't wait until, like, the game preview for MLB The Show 22 where SDS will be like, first off, I'm going to believe they're lying about everything until I actually play it or see it. I, I can't wait until they're like, all right, guys, don't worry. This year, we actually made changes to Frank. What was that animation? Like, okay, guys, we actually changed it this year. We added a new camera angle. Franchise. Stepping in now, Zach Collins. And he puts it on Look, the hit perfectly where you can't turn a double play. That's the second out. What else is not. And then it's like. I understand that people want online franchise. Go for it. But I'm not for that yet. You need to fix your offline version first before you worry about online. <laughs> because if you can't get your offline version to work, you're not going to get your online version to work. Once you show that franchise actually matters, then do online. But Ramon Russell's a little bitch, so he'll block everything you say. I got nothing to lose now. Hey, look. You still can't catch a ball. Yeah, that's my catcher, Raul Batista, huh? Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I am wrong. I I I think I, I think that's the vacuum perk. Call me crazy. And that says, excels at blocking pitches in the dirt. I, hmm. Yeah, no. I'm going to press X to doubt. I'm going to press X to doubt. Like, even the quirks don't work in this. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. Like, even the quirks don't work er, in this game. They're just here to make you think they're doing something. Oh, I wish I couldn't make the game. I don't want to make the game. I just want to be heard as a franchise streamer. That's it. At least try. At least try to make your game. 
Oh. Yeah. At least put some effort into it. I know people are saying, "Oh, you shouldn't call L you shouldn't call SDS lazy." I am. I'm absolutely gonna call him. I, don't, I mean, I'm not saying that I can make franchise perfect. By all means, I don't think I could. But I mean, how can you not look at franchise and think there's not a problem with it? There are people that are playing this game right now that says, oh, franchise is good. I mean, it's okay, but it needs to be better. Like, it needs to be better. They need to stop affiliating it with Diamond Dynasty. That's a good start. Let Diamond Dynasty be its own thing. Pitch. But, like, the stats don't matter. I can't prove it. But I'm pretty sure the stats in this game don't matter. I really am convinced the stats don't matter in this. Lewis Cavanaugh will come on in relief now as he'll make his tenth appearance of the season. The quirks probably don't matter in this game either. Once again, can't prove it. Um, I think with two strikes as the player, you lose a certain percentage on your contact. Here's the first pitch to him. Maybe Luciano, there's a hit. That's be a hit so I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't have the answers. To it, which you know, some people are like, "Oh, you shouldn't complain if you don't." Answer, which you know, fair point. I'm still gonna voice my pleasure because I still enjoy the game. I want the game to be good. It's like a lot of people want. Yeah, better scouting for sure. The scouting is questionable at best. Maybe I just don't fully understand. But it doesn't seem like it does a lot, you know? That ball hit hard. First pitch fastball down the middle, and we're going to fly out. Mm-hmm. A waste of an well, it wasn't down. With Merrifield next to it, it was not down in his last trip. With ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Fastball just missed above the zone. Cardinals get on Gantz this time. Here is a right handers up and warming. Cody Whitley. I just don't feel like I'm late on some pitches. I guess I am. I don't feel like I am. Uh, come on, game. Be able to make contact with that. Apple. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. What is the fucking point of Whit Merrifield? <laughs> what is the point of this guy? Out of the zone, fine. But the pitcher got a bunt outside of the zone. Why can't Whit Merrifield hit a pitch out of the zone? These stats don't matter in this. Just don't. Change up in the zone. Was not very early on that. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if he triples up on it right here. He's got back-to-back out-in-front swing 
hands on this guy. Let's see if he bounces. Timing's definitely off. Like, part of it's on me for sure, but not all of it. Good arm behind him. Set and the one two. <sighs> this game is so fucking stupid. Energy bars are all messed up in this game. The confidence bars are all messed up in this game. Like and, and this yes just refuses to fix it. They're not they're not something you have to reset the whole fucking mode for. Just fix it. You know, if you can patch where your servers are better or whatever, fix this simple stuff in the game. Some of the stats aren't accurate in the game. I know this is going to be nitpicky, but crowd participation doesn't make sense in this game. <laughs> It, it's honestly just a big mess. Like, it looks good. The game looks great. That was a swing, but whatever. I don't know how you don't call this a swing. Let's see. Maybe it wasn't a swing. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's, let's see. That looked like a swing to me. That looked like a pretty damn swing to me. I digress, man. The one two. On the ground a second for Torres. Anyhow. And there's one away. I, I keep saying that I'm not gonna play next year's version, but I absolutely will. Because there's just no other until EA comes out with a baseball game. There's just nothing else out there. And now in the box, Chris Taylor. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. I guarantee you, man, I will put money on it. Whenever EA announces, if they, I mean, they, they have to get the licensing first. But, like, if they were to by some chance make a baseball game, I guarantee you SDS will actually put effort into it. I guarantee it. I will bet money on it. Hey, look, another pitcher. I can't find the zone. Down the middle. Here we go. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Well, I have to throw it down the middle because he can't throw it anywhere else because the game. The show. And some people do make this game fun, and power to them. You know, if you legit enjoy this game, that's fine. Like, that's nothing to get. You really enjoy this game, good for you. I enjoy the game at times, but it's just such a broken map. It really is. It's a broken mess. And the only reason people don't say anything about it is because there's nothing else up there. I mean, yeah, there's out-of-the-park baseball. But if you're not into that, then you don't have another. Look at Super Mega Baseball. They listen to their fan base, and they're making that game better every time it comes. Every version of it. If a small company, well, before EA bought them out, but they were Metalhead, if Metalhead could do that, why can't a company like SDS do it? Why can't they? What's their excuse? I just want to hit the umpire. I just want to hit the umpire. Six pitches that should have been 
And, you know, I don't know much about the other games, like the other, like, NBA, Madden and stuff. Ready with another two -two. So I'm not really going to comment on those. Drive to right center field. Ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the but, catch. I don't know, man. I don't have a lot of high hopes for games anymore. I don't. Like, Halo made me a little happy. So it's a runner at first two but, like, whenever... Here's here's my problem with games these days. They're always release broken. Like, I get, like, but I'm not talking about little bugs. Like, you know, graphical glitches. You know, maybe somebody walking into a wall. I mean, that's just... That's going to be in every game. I get that. But you have games that come out that have modes not working, games that crash consistently. There's no excuse for it. You have all the resources to make your game great when it comes out. Look at Halo, man. When Halo Infinite came out, the multiplayer worked on the first day. The servers were good on the first day. The game is balanced. It's not perfect, but it's balanced. It's definitely a lot better in Halo 4 and 5. They improved their game. And then you have games like Cyberpunk that came out that everyone was talking about how cool it was, how great it was, how revolutionary the game was. And they still haven't fixed it. I just, you know... I don't have hopes for games anymore. I don't. I'm sorry. I just don't. I guarantee you when the show 22 comes out, it's going to be broken. And guess what, people? The servers are going to be shit on day one. Stop being so surprised by this every year. They're going to be bad day one. That's how games are. <laughs> you know? Oh my... Really? Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. One out, nobody on. I can't wait to give up the walk-off home run in the bottom of the this one. That's into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Yeah, Cyberpunk. I mean, it's just I I know that making a game is not easy, and I'm trying to give people slack. But I mean, it's as a consumer, you can't really give them slack because you don't pay 90% of the price. When the game comes out, you pay 100% of the price. They should have the game at least... I'll give you 95, because there's going to be bugs in it. I get bugs. I'm not talking about bugs. I could pop in any game right now and still find a bug. But I'm talking about games that... Like for MLB The Show, for instance. They still have freeze-offs. Is that what people call it? Where the game just crashes... Hard locks or whatever. They still have that. How have you not solved that yet? Now the two one. Hit in the air out to left field. Hanging change up. Oh. Hanging change up on a power hitter and we fly out. The show. That. So now here is Franklin Labor. He went down on strikes last time. That's just unfortunate, man. Because games can be great when they come out. The companies just see that bottom line. But what businesses do need to realize is, you know what the secret of making money is for your company? You know what it is? It's not about, it's not about creating the best product at the lowest price. That's not what it's about. It's about having a consistent consumer base that's what it's about you need to have a consistent consumer base because if you don't then who's going to pay money for your product let's say two months down the line three months down of course <sighs> this game is so fucking rigged, man. I swear to God. Fastball up in the zone. Change up up in the zone. Hanging curveballs. Hanging sliders. 
Meanwhile, a pitcher with five contact and five power gets a pitch outside the zone, and they bunt it. Right. This game is so fun. Anyway. I told myself I wasn't going to have these rants again, but I just can't help it. I'm an opinionated person. Who I am. Dude, shout out to this uh, pitching uh, motion, by the way. Former pitcher in the Cubs, the Cubs fantasy franchise. I have. Starter, I think. But I like that. I'm appreciate. I'm glad you. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. I don't know, man. I just, I'm just saying that I think companies can do better. The one zero. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Merrifield scoops it up and a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. You know, and you know, we're getting near the time to where SDS is going to start announcing things for the game. If if that's the case, you know. But I'm not going to believe a word they say. I'm just not. I think Ramon Russell's right out line. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first. I don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth. I'm sure he's a good dude. But he's such a lying bitch. I'm. I, I just. He is. He is. We're gonna revamp franchise. Okay. What'd you do? Oh, we created a new depth screen. Uh, okay. What else did you do? Um. We. Uh. Oh, we made it to where you can rebrand the teams. Uh, okay, but you still it still doesn't work half the time, and you can't have any blanket stadiums to put your own team logos. You know, that's found in every other MLB stadium? Yeah, you can't do that. So you didn't revamp anything. You just ha you just half-assed it. That's what you did. Half-assed it. Into the box. Mauricio Dubon, he flew out in his last debut. Hey, the extra inning rule. I love the extra inning rule. I forgot that was a thing. One second. Oh, Torres, so I got some speed on. But now that we have a runner on scoring position, we're not going to be able to hit anything. Because the game's going to keep saying I'm fucking very early every time. Good timing. Fuck you, SDR. What is the fucking point, man? What is the fucking point of this game? Now I'm very late. Which one is it? I mean, it doesn't matter. Good timing. I'm still going to miss, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Hang and change up. Late again. Go fuck yourself. Oh my god, good timing. I'm getting out. Can you build a dumb? No, you can't build a dumb because SDS half assed everything. Which, I know that was rhetorical. You want to talk about. You know what? Screw it. Let's put in Shohei. Let's bring in Shohei Otani to hit. Let's do it. Shohei Otani will get the call here as he'll hit for the Let's pitcher. see the great Shohei. Here's the first pitch. Damn. Chase one up the I expected this that one. He's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Down and away, ball one. Go 
You want to talk about revamping? Halo. All right, good timing. Stats don't matter. Stats don't matter. You know what? I'm I'm done. I'm just gonna fuck. Hey, look, Cardinals walked off, so I saved myself some problems. This game was rigged from the very beginning, so let's see who did the damage. Taylor did. Yeah. Now this game's so fucking rigged, man. I, I now now I remember why I stopped playing this game. So much frustration for no reason. Uh, such a great game. This game is fucking perfect in every way. Um. I'm gonna simp to this game here. Let's see. Let's look at more pictures. I actually don't need to be looking at these. I need to be looking down here. I've yet to find a knuckleball. Really, somebody throws a knuckleball. Check out him. Cardinals are interested in a trade. Let's look at this trade. What's up, Shark Attack? How you doing, buddy? Hey, look, Ep. Something we haven't talked about. The trade logic. I just want to make sure I have this correct. You have Nolan Arenado for two more seasons. You have Nolan Herman down in AAA. And you want my third base prospect for a 31-year-old catcher, which we're good. Great logic. Your dog pooped on. Can't complain? Ah, oh, it's all good, Shark. I just got through ranting about how horrible this game is. <laughs> I hope you're doing all right. I'm going to sim to this game here. Showing me transactions, man. I don't want to see. Come on. Alright, so what happened here? Uh, we lost this one. Or 9 and 10. It's definitely better than I thought. My lineup was not kept the same. Heck, I'm in. Shane Boz did better. Five innings. That's better. Looks like Whistler blew it, though. Came back and won the next game. Vaughn, Devers had two RBIs. Hey, look, people can hit when I don't play as them. Uh, Devers in the four. Okay. Otani pitched well again. Jimenez with the blown save. Great. Like two or three from San Diego. <laughs> One to nothing. Canaria. Now this, this looks like a game I played. Right? Nothing. Yep, that's me. <laughs> right there, man. Like Flaherty pitched well, but so did Pablo Lopez, man. He has been. Corey gets his first loss of the year to the Pirates. Airfield with our two eyes. Or with another stolen. So Curry still pitched well. We just didn't have enough on. So rookie's still looking really good. And then we took this game. Seven to one. Did the damage here. Two for Yastrzemski. One for Batista. Luciano. Genoa, the pitcher. Perez and Del Villar. All right. I feel the stolen base. Good team effort here. What pitched well. So the next game we'll broadcast 
Hopefully, we'll look at Shane Boz this time against Sean Poppin. Love that name. For the Pirates. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm out for the night, guys. Have a good one. Have a good Saturday. I don't know why I keep this bar. This needs to go. Uh, <laughs> um, Dom, appreciate the follow. Gabriel, appreciate the host. Make franchise great again. I agree. Make it great again. Get it trending on Twitter, because people are already trying to get it trending on Twitter. Everyone needs to do their part. Like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, or don't. Just like it. That's fine. <laughs> I just do this for fun. I don't have a goal. So, I just put videos up for people that want to watch it. A lot. Alright, I'll see you cool cats later. Have a good one. Ep, don't freeze your butt off, my guy. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Deuces.